Hi, this video tutorial I will cover unreachable catch block. All catch blocks must be ordered from most specific to most general. In this case, catch for null pointer exception must come before uh, catch for exception. First catch block handles subclass null pointer exception. Second catch block handles superclass exception. This is uh, correct order. Here I have defined the class uh, exception demo1. It has main method. I am running this program in uh, debug mode. Here I have declared the string uh, first name and uh, I have uh, assigned as null. Then I am calling uh, length method. So this will throw null pointer exception because uh, first name value is null. And uh, null pointer uh, exception is handled in this uh, catch block. Exception is a superclass of uh, null pointer exception. So this catch block can handle null pointer exception. Here I have defined the class uh, exception demo2. It has main method. I am running this program in uh, debug mode. This line will throw null pointer exception and uh, that null pointer exception is handled by this catch block. Exception is a superclass of uh, all exceptions. So this catch block can handle any kind of exceptions including null pointer exception. So after this catch block, if we define null pointer exception catch block, then we will get compile time error. The compiler will throw compile time error saying unreachable catch block for null pointer exception. It is already handled by the catch block for exception. So in this example, order of uh, catching exception is wrong. So compiler is throwing compile time error. Here I have defined the class uh, exception demo3. It has main method. And uh, like we already discussed, the null pointer exception catch block is unreachable. And uh, compiler is throwing compile time error. And this is about uh, unreachable cache block and thanks for watching.